So standardly, how long for those who don't know, for those who don't know, how long does it take for cassava to go and have it like from go to maturity? We have different types of cassava. Some could take like four months. Some could take like eight months. Okay. Yes. Okay. Some could two could take like one year. So it depends on the type of cassava that you planted. So what are the different but types for of mine, cassava? It it took like six to seven months to germinate like to be ready for harvest six to seven months yeah. so like six what are the different types can you let us know the different types that we have All right, so you all come back to another exciting farming week. It's really your first time. I'm Charles, and on this channel, we talk about farming here in Africa. So from the previous video, we had a conversation with KD. Pardi me, so the KD that's that's in my head. Never mind. Yes, it's cool. Shop, shop, shop. So it's KD. Yeah, we looked at how you began this cassava farm. Yeah, you're actually on the farm to learn some farm management practices. What you need to know when you want to start your own cassava farm too, as well. So yeah, join us. We get into the video. So yeah. Um, KD, yeah. do you, there's a farm, right? Yeah, there's a farm. Okay, so where does it begin from? It starts from here, then it goes to the other side, where that tree is. The, what is it, the purple? Yeah, I, the, the one behind the purple. Ah, the tall one? Yeah. Oh, okay. It ends there, then goes the down there, mm. then to the far end. The road. Yeah. So like how many cassava do you have? Have you planted here? I can't count. I can't count. Like the number of pieces or whatever. Mm. For that one day, I can't tell. I can't tell. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. So you may mention the previous video that we did that uh, about some rules. Like, can you explain it here or rules? Uh, about like the land, the rules you are talking about. Yeah. So, the, yeah. Uh, we have a uh, some how we measure it okay so that is 12 by 12 for that is what i know 12 by 12 yeah that so, so that's mainly for the land or like for yeah, like, like for the land so maybe from here to this part is one row from here to this part is yes. two row. Okay, so if but someone wants to buy now, a land. For mine, I didn't measure for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like a rough something, I could say like about eight or ten. Yeah. Eight or ten. Yeah, yeah ten rules, right? Yeah, ten. Eight okay. to ten rules. Okay, okay, sure. So um for those watching us, the purpose of this video is we want to know if I want to start my own cassava farm, what are the things I'm supposed to no, uh, take note of. We did mention that earlier when we started, you didn't take care of it or any got for. So yes, let us know. I want to start my farm. Maybe I've gotten the land. Um, how can I go about it? What are the things important I'm supposed to take note of when I'm starting my own cassava farm? Oh, so you have the land. You clear the land. Okay. After clearing the land, you, when it's very bushy, then you clear the land. You need to burn it or like you leave it for it to rot into the soil after you clear you burn yeah. it and okay. for now we decide so you need to wait for it to start like the weeds to start pranking up then you use we decide to kill all is it like weeds. after burning it or that's another yeah, after of... burning it after burning it you need to wait for the land to be there so like weeds will start spranging up again okay. so that is will be the weed that you use that we decide to kill it Sure, sure. So after the weed, would you have to like? No, weed? after the weed side, you can just plant. So when you plant and it start germinating, the weed should be going down bit by bit. That okay. is how it will be. So and is there a number of intervals as opposed to no? After burning, after oh, you apply the weed side, a week or two, a week or two will be okay. Yeah. Before you do the planting. Yeah, a week or two will be okay. So when you do the planting, whilst is growing the weeds to be going down so it will get to a certain point that the weed will start coming so that is when it starts coming then you to you weed or you can still use the weed side but me for me i like like organic farming 
So Generally, using of weedy side has been something that I don't like. But since I'm not here, I've been using once in a while. When I'm about to start planting, that is when I'll use. But when the crop starts growing up, I don't use weedy side on the farm again. So, so um, is it that there's a, um, a negative effect of the weedy sides on the crops? Yeah, That's it has see. a lot of negative effects. For the crop, the, it doesn't have a negative effect on the crop, but other crops that is down the soil, like other crops and like insects and all that, snails and all that, it does it not them. help the, them. Yeah, it kills them because at first when I was a kid, I used to get snails, like you get snails when you are weeding, but of late you will not get it. So it definitely kills all those kind of uh, whatever. But the good thing is it doesn't affect the crop. Like let's see, yeah, it not like the plant the itself, but the crop itself that is in the soil. It doesn't affect it. Doesn't it doesn't affect it. It doesn't affect it. Okay, okay. Because like now people are trying to find ways to make some of these work easier. So normally people normally apply with these sites yeah. to kill them. Yeah before they do their own okay okay so standardly how long for those who don't know those who don't know how long does it take for cassava to go and have it like from go to maturity we have different types of cassava some could take like four months some could take like eight months okay yes okay. some could two could take like one year so it depends on the type of cassava that you planted so what are the different but types for of mine, cassava it, it took like six to seven months to germinate like to be ready for harvest six to seven months yeah. so like six what are the different types can you let us know the different types that we have uh, we have uh, the red one and the white one that is what i know okay. like we have names for it but i've forgotten the names okay. but i know we have the one with the red color and the one with the white color so me i planted how the do you determine with, the red and the white colors you could see from the this leaves okay yeah. okay you could see from the leaves so you've seen that this one it has a red something on it and mm. others to have white but I me mean, i planted the one with the red because it's very very nice and like harvesting is very early you can harvest it very early like six to seven months you mm. get your cassava and it grows very nice and they produce too like the cassava itself it tastes very sweet so, okay. Like okay. you could even use it for MPC. Yeah, you could use it for MPC. So it's very nice. And mostly that is what they used to plant here too. So I that like is the most easiest uh, type of I said four plant. months, seven months and yeah, one year. Yeah. We have other types, but this has been the one that is grown mostly. in this area. So and it's like the seven month one. Oh. Yes, by seven months you, you should have I said, the, for this one it's it's like Three months now, and look at how yeah, at least it has become so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are watching I grew, us. I grew some. That one will be ready in December. Okay. Like you can harvest it in December, so we are waiting for December. Then so that was we'll at the back. Yeah, it's at the back of. Okay, that's ones. part of the extended ones you yeah, did. it's part of the extended. Ones. So this one's like how long were they when you planted? About them? three to four months now. Yeah. Okay three okay. to four months out and you even if you approach some you could see there's cassava uh, yeah the cassava and there is yeah. okay yeah. okay i want to ask this question eh? see Richelle, you're talking about when you go and buy cassava you only um i want to peel it or something yeah. you cook and you find out that they are actually sport. Sport, yeah. is there an, a way to identify them so that we know we're going to buy on the market you know that mm, this one we are buying is not something that would be of good uh, this one to us yes yeah, some of the cassava when you cut it you see the inside yeah you see the inside and some too the type of or the process you use to uh, cook it that could make it to spoil because some of the cassava you need to put water on the fire for it to go before, before you, you put add the cassava, the cassava. Okay. and some to like the water and the cassava everything goes go, straight go straight yeah so it depends maybe the person that went to bought the cassava he was not uh, told or he didn't ask how should i cook it so you could see like yeah. Yeah. but the person who is selling it for you she didn't even tell you how you should cook it 
So sometimes it happens that way. And sometimes to like the cassava itself is not that right. Like it's not good. So it will just pour. Yeah, so it depends on how you cook it and what information you get for you to get a better uh, cassava. But for mine, the one that I planted, it does not need any kind of special requirement that you use. You just put it on fire with the water, then you are good to you go. Are good to go. I'm, I'm, yeah. oh, so how I, do you know how you're able to determine, so the one you plant, the seven months one, how that one looks like and how the one they plant like for it takes a longer time to look like so when you go in the market we can be able to know the difference in in those ones on the market you not see okay yeah, on the market you not see because it's general thing over there so you not see and Unless they all look the same on the farm that is when you see this one it will, could take one year it could take uh, eight months it could take seven months or six months yeah so on the uh, on the market you not see you know, see the type of cassava, cassava it, is. it is. So yeah. if they harvest all those cassava and they put it together, you can't differentiate. You can't them. differentiate. And one one thing too is the ones that it will spoil. It depends on how it has stayed in the land. Like okay. they will say that bunch of dada. Mm -hmm. Like we a bunch of floor, we see a bunch of dada. So the old ones are mostly the ones that will spoil when you are putting it on fire. So mostly for here, we use that one for uh, Gary. Okay. or like uh, cassava dough that is what we use it for and the new ones are the ones we use for fufu and other things know. so yeah. let, let's try and break it down for people to understand so the old one so it's like what you mean is after a seven month that you know it's supposed to be harvested you don't harvest it you made it be in the soil for like an extra one yeah, month yeah. those ones are not like fresh ones that yeah, you can use yeah so those are the ones you use for the gary and yeah. stuff okay okay so just like maize like you make maize grow to the point where it becomes dry they yeah. use it for those ones yeah. Yeah. if it's fresh that's what we boil and eat yeah. and stuff yeah okay okay that's nice so um so seven months cassava the sticks like how do you go about it do you how do you go about the planting do you like you cut the sticks and put it in the soil or yeah. how do you do it you cut you cut it and put it in the soil but you cut it for example it goes like this so when you cut it where you cut it the down should go into the soil and the top where you cut it should be up i don't get you so it's like oh is there like, a stick let's see let's see let's, let's get this cassava for this one if okay. you harvest it like this you cut this part then here should go down then here should come to the top. ah the part that you cut off should, here be, should be is there a reason top. for that if you plant it this way it will not germinate like it will die it will die in the soil. Okay, so the part so that you cut first cut, supposed to be the part that you cut, the down should go to the down, then the top should come to the top. That mm. is how you are supposed to plant it. And the yeah. stick, so supposing the stick, how many stems can I get to plant? Is there a particular length I'm supposed to know when it I'm cutting? It depends. It depends. You can just like maximum should be like this length. So, so, so just, I can't break it into like four and just plant no. one breaking it into four it will be very small it will be very small and it could die in the soil so it should be longer bit at least sometimes some of the cassava you could get two from this okay and some two you could plant it like this length so it should, should be of a particular height yeah it should be of a particular height so mm -hmm. you just do this maybe then you put it there then so you cover it that is it so you yeah. start watering it or no you don't watch it you just leave it like rains, that rains will, you both depend yeah. on the rain and if the farm or the land too is very like good for cassava plantation it will just germinate even if water is not in the land or like water it doesn't rain it will just sprang up then it okay okay so i've done a previous video on cassava farming i think one of that's one of the videos people like on my channel that it shows like an easy way of growing cassava so like let's say depending on the type of cassava you use so if it takes a very month takes a year or stuff yeah if you use that approach it's kind of shortens it a bit yeah so when you're explaining you see the way you said this one yeah like you cut it and you put it in the soil normally it would before like it will start germination or growing on it or some of the nodes on it has to die for one of them to a cassava to grow on it it will not die it will okay. not die but 
you could see from this one, mm-hmm. some has already been germinating from it. Yeah. So if you should put it in the soil right now, this one will come out. And if it, and if it's come out, that is it. But you see, yeah. on this stick, so from what I know from the previous one I, I visited, so on this stick, you can see it's not all of them that is germinating. Mm-hmm. And when you cut them and put it in the soil, it's like... um some definitely some part of the nodes have to die for yeah, some some will grow. definitely die uh-huh. yeah. so instead of it's taking like a longer period to wait for the nodes to die for one part to start germinating what the farmer did was the nodes that has like the part that is germinating he cuts them he cuts them into smaller smaller pieces mm. i don't know I'll, I'll link the um the video link in the description side so you can just check it out so he cuts the nodes and what he does is where is germinating he he nurses it oh okay so he nurses doesn't Put it on the farm straight. Oh. I know people ask questions about can you do it straight on the farm? You straight on the farm, definitely it will die because you have to pay attention to it for some time. So he puts it in the soil that way, it starts to grow like germinates like this. Mm. Then he takes it from there, and he actually plants onto the soil. Oh, okay, then I haven't seen that one. Yeah, Maybe so it's a method that is a quite new modern farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. like if I watch the comments farm. and the reviews from the video, people are at least will like the idea. Mm. So it makes Instead of waiting for another ones to die off, you just focus on it. It grows, then you transplant. So it's like it shortens the time. So as I saying, this one is seven months. It could take you like let's say four months for you to harvest. Oh, okay. Do you get it? So like that's Jesus' approach. Maybe you can check out the video. Oh, okay. It's quite. If you are watching, if you've not checked it out, you can also check it out and learn something. So that's what I learned from that video and from the feedback that we've received so far. I think yeah, it's something that people have tried and it's, it's quite helpful oh, okay. for them. Okay, so after you apply, like, let's say, for, for those who are going to apply with sides, I applied with this for the first time, and I've done my planting. If the roots will grow again, do I, like, do another, apply another with sides? Or how many with sides do I apply before, like, it matures? Maybe twice or once, depending on the type of weeds that is growing. Yeah. Okay. Some weeds are very stubborn. Like, it could just be spring, springing up very fast, so... It depends on the type of weeds on the farm. On the farm. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. me, I just use the weed side once the like beginning the of planting and I will not use it again. That is how I plant my cassava. Okay. And most people to have the idea that if you have a cassava farm, maybe before you do the it grows, it also plants maize in between. Yeah, is that it advisable? Is a new farm. Like have clearing a new land. Okay. When you clear a new land, then you plant maize. When you plant the maize, like it will get to a certain point. Like for this one instance, you see, mm-hmm. we, we planted okay. the maize here. Okay. So it will get to a certain height, then you will start planting the cassava too. So the maize should be faster than the cassava. Okay. So after harvesting the maize, then you can the cassava, cassava will be down there. Then it, it starts coming up. And it doesn't compete with the cassava no, for soil and nutrients and all those things. It does not. Okay, it does okay. not. So it's advisable that people try that method. Yeah, like that is a mixed crop something. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a mixed crop something. So like you have a small land or you have your land, but you want to harvest two type of food on the same land. Yeah, but someone to just clear the land and use it for just cassava, cassava. or use it for just maize, and sometimes you could be planting a uh, plantain to him. You could see my some plantains are in it so okay, okay. yeah but for here we didn't plant maize we didn't was plant strictly maize. Cassava, yeah. the, cassava. the maize wasn't doing well so we just planted the cassava then we planted the uh, the plantains too then we are good to go okay yeah. okay okay um is there a way we could determine let's just walk maybe to each side a bit but is there a way we can determine what soil is good for cassava farming? Yeah, you can determine. How how do like I do that? Loamy soil, loamy soil is very good. Loamy soil is very good. But sandy, we, we don't plant in sandy places like yeah, sandy, soil. sandy soil. Some some plants do grow in there, but cassava is very good. Or loamy soil is good for uh, cassava. So you plant in. You will just harvest it very nice. And you don't need to get a place where there are stones in the sun. Okay. Like, yeah, the soil, there are stones. Because some parts or some places you could see a lot of stones. When there are a lot of stones in the uh, soil, harvesting it, it becomes very difficult. difficult. Yeah. You could just pluck it out and 
most will be in the because south, of the rocks yeah, might block it yeah. but having a loomy soil and like you just plug it and it will just come out very nicely mm. yeah okay okay so um, well, other side of the question too is like let's say i've gotten to buy a land how can i determine oh this land i have if i grow cassava on it it will do well if i grow maize on it it might do well how, how do you know where you i need can to ask the one who sold the land for you okay yeah the one who sold the land to you you mm -hmm. need to ask the person because some lands are good for farming some too are not good for farming yeah and the land owners will be able to yeah. determine that they will be able to determine because he sold the land to you so he he or she needs to tell you what you could plant but as i said in ghana like almost all our lands are good for something yeah, 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 yeah. definitely the yeah. lands are very good for something so definitely you need to get something that you could plant on that soil or that land that you could get something out of it yeah sharp 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 okay so let's look at let's try and wrap up so the final one be pricing let's say you harvest them as you've grown here yeah in terms of cost benefit analysis maybe uh, from what you are saying, you get people to maybe weed and clear the land, then you maybe get the cassava sticks and you plant them. Now, let's look at even the cassava sticks. I want to put some cassava sticks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. How much do they cost if you are for a new person who is going to start a cassava farm? I haven't sold some before, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Because for a year, we don't sell. I haven't seen someone selling cassava, cassava sticks. sticks. Okay. You could just ask someone, maybe Bantia could do it. So, we harvest it in Guadalajara. He or she will just tell you. Some are in my farm, so you can go for oh, it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is what I know. Because for a year, we didn't have any cassava sticks, but one woman harvested hers, then we More just went for Then we came to plant it here. Sharp, and sharp, and sharp. I got some too from my old farm. That one is at a different place. Yeah, so I got some from there and I brought it here. Mm. That was how come I was able to plant it. Yeah. But okay. Okay, and like the produce itself, how much do you sell the cassava? When you first, so when I come to buy fresh from the farm, how much do you normally go for? Some some sell it in a row, like what I told you first, one mm -hmm. row, two row. So that is how you just he or she will just tell you. Me oh, So you okay. will just measure it here. Is the aroma back then? He will sell it for you. And some to they will harvest everything on the farm, put it in a sack, then they will take it to the market okay. or they will sell it at the roadside or something. Yeah, that is how we sell it. And some to they will just harvest small in a pan, what we call prempe. Okay. Yeah, then they will sell it for you. Yeah. That and like the how. prices are fairly okay. Suppose I'm suppose I'm buying like a room, a row, right? Yeah, row. How much do the standard price go for? For now, for now, it could cost like thousand five. For the row. For a row. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It could cost like thousand five. So if you the 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 produce are very good, like you got a lot, mm. you could harvest it and you get a lot of profit on it. Yeah. You could get so which, which are your advice and, and one one the one that me i prefer is harvesting a small small okay then selling it like you could come and get like one bowl or one pan then you take it to the roadside and you sell it. Mm. but for a market woman to come and harvest it for that one you don't get much money in it then hey this is your market woman okay okay because they will come and be like hey you want more tired yeah like anybody in the bag but when they go to the market the way this is how expensive they sell it and the only thing they will use it to defend is cost of transportation yeah and me for my area here my road is good hey, the road is good because my like, road is very find very issue good with it. so for this area we don't have issue with road network so if you come and tell me that cost of transportation, I will not agree with you. Yeah. So I prefer me. I have it myself. Then you sell it. it myself, or I have someone who can do it for me. Then okay. yeah. Okay. This issue of market to maintain, you have to like carefully look at it all. Because uh, uh, how expensive they sell it on the market? Eh? You would imagine like they themselves are the ones who are doing the yeah, farm itself. That motivated me to do my to do your own. Yeah. Coming to Akka and I was like, hey, make a top bunch, bunch of five cities, and you're kind of four pounds, five cities, <laughs> hey. And for here, like, I could get like 10 pieces, like two cities or something. So Which sometimes it will demotivate you, like, ah, mm. so 
for all the hassle that you've been to harvesting or planting the cassava and this is the money that you got out of it but all things being equal we are still managing and sharp, 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 like sharp, it's still sharp, benefiting sharp. us yeah sharp sharp, 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 sharp. okay okay so um, if there's anything any advice you have for new beginners who are into the cassava um who want to start a cassava farm what it, what will it be oh uh, whatever i would tell them is they should they should see the kind of cassava that they will plant the type of cassava that they will plant and the, the kind of land that they will plant on yes because some cassavas are not that good some cassavas you you can't eat it with um you can't eat it just like that you need to use it for gary or like a cassava dough but some too you could just use, for the fufu use it for the fufu and, and yeah so we have different type of cassava that so it depends on the type of cassava that you want to plant and it depends on the type of thing that you want to use because some people harvest or they plant just for gary and that type of cassava is different from the one you use for fufu and all that but me for mine is for fufu and like MPC. you could use it for even MPC. yeah they are smiling when you are saying nice. it. it's like you like you like those food eh? <laughs> i like fufu so that is what i i i like to plant here yeah. okay so, yeah. okay okay so yeah um that, that will end this video um if you have any question please put it in the comment section what you want to learn about it i'll put this contact there you also be in the comment section to answer some of yeah, the questions some, some will be ready in december nice yeah, nice so, so uh -huh, those who are coming down christmas if you want christmas, to buy cassava is ready exactly, we'll exactly. Harvest it in. sure sure so i'll before put this contact you. there yes i'll put this contact there. this video will definitely go up before december so by December, you can just reach out to him and come and buy some of the cassava fresh from the farm. Fresh you get from it? The yes. Farm. We're actually very, on the farm very, here. Very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually on the farm here that he does that. So yeah. If you are coming to Ghana, maybe you're in the diaspora, you know why you eat good fufu. You want to come and eat here, homegrown one. You can come and get some of the cassava from here and go and use them for your Christmas um, holidays and festivities. So yeah, that will end up in today's video. Please like this video for me. The like it is important because it helps YouTube to recommend the video to other people for them to watch. Share it to other people who want to learn to get some of these inspiring stories, some of this information that are getting for free on how to go about your own farm, start something on your own as well. And please subscribe to the channel so we can also grow as well. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.